guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video all about houseplants. I love the style decor where it's just like earthy tones and a lot of natural plants. Unfortunately, I have killed quite a few plants, but some of them are still surviving and thriving. So I wanted to share with you which ones I have found to be just kind of the easiest um, to keep up with and that are going to be very hard to kill and any little tips I might have learned. Sorry, excuse my dirty coffee cup. I drink it all day. I don't mind that it's cold. I'm going to start with the ones that I find are a little bit more high maintenance, which they're not. It's just that the other ones are the easiest. I'm sure you've heard of this one. It's the pothos. The pothos has very different variations. They come in dark green colors, light colors. This one actually has like little silvery specks that are really pretty when the sun hits it. I think this one looks really cute up on a bookshelf or on a window and it kind of trails down. So you could even put this in a little hanging basket and it would be super cute. Um, he needs maybe like medium light. So if you have a section in your house that you feel like doesn't get bright light, you can put him a little bit farther away and he does fine. I have been watering him about once a week. When I got him, he was probably right around here, this section. So he's had in a month, maybe like all this new growth and all of this new growth on this side. He's very rewarding. I think that he's a great plant to have because most likely um, he will survive. <laughs> but I have to say that I feel like he's been very rewarding because he's growing and I feel like I haven't done much for him. So I think this is a great option, but he is gonna require you to remember to water him at least once a week. Now, our second little friend here is called the Kangaroo Paw. I feel like he's got a really spunky look to him. Again, I think he would be perfect for any little corner in your house that you feel like just needs a little touch of green. So from what I read, he's probably a little bit more tolerant to drying out. I've been also watering him about once a week. He seems to be doing really good and um, having new growth. He's got these cool little sections to start growing that look like a kangaroo pop. So that's where he gets his name. So he also needs about medium light. He doesn't have to be right next to the window. He'll do great and I think he adds a lot of character to the space. So that's the little kangaroo pop. Third on my list is the snake plant or also known as a mother-in-law tongue. Um, these are really great because they're very hard to kill. These you can put in even low light areas, which is great. If you have that bathroom or just like a bedroom that doesn't have a lot of windows and you're like, man, I want to put some plants in here, definitely go for something like this. But yeah, he only, I probably water them about once a month. He doesn't need that much of your attention. Like if you're basically on the verge of just buying fake plants, this is like, in my opinion, like the step right before just going all for fake plants, get snake plants. I think most likely you will do great and you'll fall in love with them. The fourth plant I'm showing you here is a ZZ plant. I I fell in love with all of them, okay? I'm obsessed with plants. I really like this guy because I think that he's like so, he looks like a plant that probably would require a lot more attention, but he's almost on the level of the snake plant. You can also put him in a low light area and water him maybe like once a month. It's kind of what I do. So he's also very rewarding because you can usually see new growth pretty often on him. Um, So that's the ZZ plant. The fifth plant that I would recommend if you're looking for something a little bit larger, maybe something that's a little like Pinterest inspired, I would say the rubber plant. So that's this guy I have right over here. I'll show you a close up of him because I'm not gonna carry him over here. He also does not need to be in direct light. I do have him next to the window where I feel like he's gotten a lot of light and his leaves actually look a little bit brighter than when I first got him. But I think that if he was even farther away from the window, he would be fine. I don't have him on weekly watering schedule, but every time I'm kind of walking by, I'll check the soil to see if it's dry. If the soil is pretty dried out, then I go ahead and water him. This would be like a really cool plant to kind of get maybe when, if, even if it's not that huge and to kind of have him turn into something really cool and kind of like a, a statement plant. But yeah, so I'm trying to keep this video simple so that if you're a beginner, you can kind of see what you think at what level you are. You can either be at the snake plant, ZZ plant level where you're just like, I want something that I can forget about that I'm not going to kill. As long as you don't overwater those, 
they'll be fine. They're not gonna die and they're beautiful. The fern and the pothos, I would say, is like one level up where, okay, now you have a responsibility to water it weekly, so you can't forget about it. You do have to remember that they need water every week. So yeah, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope that you get some new plants to brighten up your space. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.